Let's add a tooltip to our item and our blocks. Minecraft modding courses with close to 100 topics ranging from custom tools and armor to custom block entities all the way to custom mobs linked in the description below. Alright, we found ourselves back in the chat once more and in this tutorial we're going to be adding a custom tooltip to our item and also a block here in this case. Now for a custom tooltip, what you will need is a custom item class. So for example, the metal detector item is absolutely perfect for this and literally the only thing you need to do is you need to override the append hover text method over here and then add a component to the tooltip components list over here and that is it. That will basically get you a custom tooltip when you hover over this. So we can say the tooltip components dot add and passing in component dot either literal or translatable. And in this case, I'm going to show a translatable one and in the sound block, I will show a literal one. The translatable just means that we have to define a key. So for example, tooltip dot tutorial mod dot metal underscore detector dot tooltip something like that and then this key has to be translated in the en underscore us json file or of course in another language that is the idea so this one finds valuables underground there we go and you can now use this key as well for translating it into other languages that's why the component dot translatable usually is the better option if you have something displayed and for the sound block let's just also go in here and well, override the append hover text method. It's the same thing. We are going to say ptooltip.add and we're going to add a component dot literal here in this case. And this is going to be makes sweet sounds when right clicked. And of course, the disadvantage over here in this case is that this is going to be displayed the same way for each language. So even if we were to change the language, this would always be in English. Most of the modding community probably plays in English. But regardless, it is quite easy to use the translatable. So I do recommend using that. But that is actually all that we need. So let's jump into the game and see if it works. All right, fans, let's back in Minecraft. And let's take a look. If I hover over the metal detector, you can see finds valuables underground. And the sound block makes sweet sounds when right click. Absolutely fantastic. And that is custom tooltips added to your mod. And that's it for this tutorial right here. Next time, we will take a look at tags right here. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.